Hello and welcome back to Flute Salad. Welcome back to the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. I've just seen this chow. Oh, this is an actual thing. The decent cash reward for finding this robot. Maybe I keep an eye out. Poor Oma Chow. Hate to see him like this. What do they do? Medical malpractice. Interesting. Okay. Yo, arcade machine. Clearly won't be able to get the game soon. <laughs> Super Monkey Ball a try. <laughs> Uh, do you think we broke when the, when the train sped up? The damage looks, um, what's we caused from punches? Mm, knuckles, have you got angry playing Super Monkey Ball? Who could have done that? Hmm. <laughs> what are you two looking at me for? Smashed Arcade is added to your inventory. Hey Knuckles, how's it going? Well, I thought I told you to leave me alone. I like your hat. Hmm. Knuckles, are you blushing? I said leave me alone. Doesn't look like he's used to being complimented. Do you just adjust your head a bit so we could see it better? I said leave! <laughs> um, can I take your order? Hmm, not hungry. Well, if you ever are, let me know, won't you? Sure. I like blo uh, like a blaster of sorts, right? Come on, flute. Oh, butler, I can't read. Tell him that. Yeah, like a butler. Excellent. Thank you, butler. Dang it! <laughs> um, Knuckles, can I still ch chat with you a bit? Um, talk. What now? Oh, please, please don't beat me up. No promises. Knuckles, would you ever fight me? No, you bruise too easily. It wouldn't be fun. I bruise easily too, I guess. So it wouldn't be fun to fight either. No, I'd fight you. <laughs> He's not actually gonna fight me, right? Okay, see you later, Knuckles. Okay, glasses. It's interesting. The glasses are not th are broken and they're standing up. Why are there three? Okay, I was more talking about... Okay, well... <laughs> uh, Knuckles was really thirsty. That one's got blood. Oh, lipstick! Oh, it was Rouge! That's not Knuckles' car at all. Someone else must have been here. We should log this. So why is this actually funny? He's cut around your inventory. I think we, I think we found enough clues to tell us. We literally haven't even looked around at all. So, no. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. Sadly, this one's empty as well. I'm starting to think... Uh, I suddenly think a theory or something always being hidden in the trash is flawed. Damn it. It's only a matter of time. Uh, it's only a matter of time, Tails. We have faith. Uh, as they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. <laughs> I think Tails is ignoring me. Yeah. Cereal. Ah, the bowl of assorted nuts. A classic saloon snack. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Yeah, kind of bland. Huh, seems like someone licked all the salt off them. <laughs> what? Bleh. <laughs> Maybe they're just unsalted. Uh, hand, or train, how's it going? The robotic arms here are really helpful. <laughs> What's that arm doing to my hair? He fixed it up a bit, that's incredible! What interesting tech. Uh oh, should I fit my job a little bit? Uh, how well can it microwave? Alright, bottles, 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 saloon. Howdy, partners! Alright, that's funny. The door is locked tight. We can't go any further. You could literally just go under or over it, Tails. I wonder how Amy was able to leave then. Good point. When, uh, when the, were these doors locked when she left? Okay, yep. Uh, I think that's everything in here, is it? Yeah, I, I believe so. Alright, Knuckles, I'm interrogating you now. Oh, wait, hold on. Can I, is there anything to do with the window? The window! Yes. Breathtaking views. Man. That thing's just begging to be climbed. Imagine the view. Train pass is some incredible sights. I'm just happy to be traveling at normal speed. I get nauseous pretty easily. I've avoided things like roller coasters. Oh my god, this character is literally me. <laughs> I don't mind roller coasters, though I find myself running on tracks more than I do riding the carts. I'll never understand this friend group. <laughs> Alright, Knuckles. How's it going? Uh, I'm interrogating you now. Knuckles, Flute and I need to determine what you were doing during the hour the murder took place. I already told you. Buzz off. You're not getting anything out of me. Thankfully, we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. It, it is? We have evidence, too. We do? Flute, just take a good look at our infantry. What was uh, distracting Knuckles at the time of the murder? That is the Super Monkey Ball machine. The arcade machine. Ha! Huh. What makes you think I touched it? The giant punch. Oh, think mode, think mode. Oh! What a banger! God damn it! No! 
No! God damn it, I didn't get it. Not enough rings. Have I just like failed that then? You have no argument here, you are weak. Let's have that train of thought again, shall we? Okay, let's try that again. Knuckles is a very aggressive, aggressive guy. There we go. That's more like it. Here we go. Much better. An idea. This isn't a tough one, Knuckles. Knuckles, you clearly touched the arcade machine because Super, Super Monkey was your favorite game. Uh, it's covered in punches. What evidence do you have that the damages are punches? What are you staring at my hands for? Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade machine, but why? I needed a punching bag and none were available to me. Just a sudden urge to punch. Oh, just a sudden urge to punch, huh? I believe repairing the arcade machine will give us an answer. Uh, how will you? I'm on it. Flute, distract Knuckles while I fix Super Monkey Ball. Bring it on! Oh god, here we go. Do 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 Oh my god, okay, this is actually getting tricky. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> he died. Okay, yeah, let's go again. So I'm starting to think the springs aren't always good. Okay. Blah. There we go. Do 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 do. The arcade machine's been fixed. No, don't look at the scores. Quick, look at the scores. I'm putting it up now. Ah, oh, what does this tell us? Knuckles, you're worse than Vector, but at least you're better than toast, apple bread, Alton, I guess that's shadow, bagel and candy. <laughs> Nothing, obviously. Oh, you lost by one point as well. Tells us something massive. Look at the name on the top of the list. It's Vector. Uh, he, he's supposed to be in the library car. Hmm. The picture is beginning to be painted here. You competed with Vector to see who could get the highest score. And Vector beat you. And in the frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. Grr. He's punching the air in frustration. You're guessing. Where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Vector's a common name. Prove to me he was here now. I don't know what actually Bruce Vector was here, apart from it being the name. Um, so... <laughs> uh, okay. God, this is kind of tricky, I'm not going to lie to you. I got Jesse right in my rings as well. Now, Flute, what Prince Vector was here with Knuckles? Um, I don't know, he doesn't have lipstick. Um... But... No! I thought it was strange there was more than one cup sitting next to you. Were well, you supposed to be, um, participating in the murder mystery? Came for Amy's birthday. You and Vector enjoy some drinks playing arcade. It's, it's not like... It's not, I, I wasn't... Ah, don't tell Amy. I think we're on the right track here. It says you say, Vector popped uh, in at the top of the aisle wanting to play the arcade machine with me. We went back and forth trying to figure the game out, but when we did, we competed for the highest score. When he bested me, I destroyed the machine. No proof of his win. I was trying to fix the arcade cabinet before you two came in, honest. I didn't want to be caught. And that's my story, an alibi. I've already told an abridged version of this to Amy. Boy, this friend group sure has a lot of pride issues. Well, that explains some of the used cups. But what about the cup with the lick sip? Yeah, that's Rouge. Rouge was in here too. Bro, let's go, Rouge, my go. It's inconsequential, not worth mentioning. She searched around for something, but failed. Made fun of our game and left. Obnoxious, that one. But you offered her a drink, apparently. Listen, I don't know why she showed up. 
Have I told you everything that happened before the train sped up? Are you not satisfied? Will you two relent? Mm, I'm understanding the scenario. Vector visited to play games. Rouge couldn't find something and then left. Knuckles destroyed the machine. That all makes sense to me. Thank you for answering so many of our que- Actually, that's not everything, is it, Knuckles? I want to step back. Something I noticed. One more name on that high score list doesn't make sense. Flute, can you take a look one more time? Oh yeah, Shadow. Oh, name on the high score. What's Knuckles talking about? It's, it's Shadow. All the other names have food themes, but this one goes by the name of Ultim... You may not know Flute, but there's someone here that goes by the title, The Ultimate Life Form. There's really someone here that goes by that. <laughs> Nothing snakes by you, does it, bud? I noticed that as well, just saying. <laughs> Vector and I were struggling so much with the game, but then Shadow dropped by. So Shadow was here too. He taught us the game, and was the first to get his name on the scoreboard. Vector and I then fought to be Shadow's score. They're both very annoying. You all immediately had to compete, huh? He gave me this before he left. Oh, he gave me this before he left. Shadow told me to lock the door and not open it to anyone. Then he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door right behind him. So no one else... What? Saw no one else after locking the door. That's the honest truth. So when Amy came through here not too long ago, did you open the door for her? No. Oh, I think she has some sort of key too. Oh yeah, she has all the keys in the train. Well, I have a lot of questions. What happened in the library to cause a Vector to come here? Why is Shadow locking the doors and what was Rue searching for? I don't know. They didn't tell me. Even though even though I asked uh, things with a cowboy accent, you're going to have to find them and ask for yourselves. Alright. Sweet. More information than expected to get, but it seems we can move on. As of right now, I believe a story, Knuckles. We'll only know for sure when we confirm things with Vector. Fair enough. The library next. Uh, the library's in the next car. I'll open the door for you. Whoever, uh, give whoever KO'd Sonic an earful for me. Detective Tales of Butler. I liked it better when he wasn't talking to us. <laughs> Will do, Sheriff. Come on, Flute. Let's head to the library. On it. Uh, this is way more exciting than microwaving chili dogs. Flute! Coming! Okay. Alright, let's go. Do, 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 do. Ready to move you with the next car? Yep, yeah, let's go. Onwards. Ooh! Sonic Forces. <laughs> Sonic Forces. Also, hang in there. Reminds me of, uh... Um... Monsters vs. Aliens. All the stuff's in the way. I'll talk what I need to. Everyone's favorite journalist reporter, Amy Rose, is hot on the scoop. I'm heading out. You've been famously helpful. Already, before you go, Espio and I wanted to give you your presents. My presents? You're both too sweet. Thank you. I know this is about to kill my voice doing all of this. <coughs> hmm, Vector, it seems we have more guests. Amy, there you are. Find any more leads yet? Oh, the detective parrot needs help from the birthday girl. She seems to know. Uh, she, uh, she knows everyone's allowed to be sassy on their birthday. This trip is just too juicy to ignore. I'll see you around. Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be the one to avenge you, and quick. But how are you gonna leave? The door to the next car is locked. Oh, you doubt the birthday girl? The birthday girl has the master key. Right, and the birthday girl gets the birthday key. Of course, it's the birthday privilege. My time is at the word birthday, my god. I'll solve this case before anyone else. Bye! Amy may be hasty, but she's thorough. Oh, now, what are you two doing? Looking mighty suspicious, I say. I'm the detective, so I can't be the murderer. And I'm, uh, uh, here to ask if anyone's hungry. Starved? I'd kill for a chicken parmesan right about now. Maybe kill isn't the right language to use right now. I'm Vector the Butcher. I'm licensed to handle raw meat. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> And I'm Espio, the poet. Ah, poetry. A resonant message from the poet to, to the reader might... Uh, meant to challenge our... Okay, I'm not reading that because I hate poems. Can I hear some? Uh, sure. Uh, Teardrops in the spring. Can you hear me sing? La 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 la. Dee 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 dee. Hmm. Was that it? 
I have more if you like. Cherry blossoms in the spring. I'm, uh, satisfied for now, thanks. At least he's rhyming, I suppose. Flute and I are here to establish both of your alibis. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy had everyone leave the dining car? Oh, sure, it's simple. We just explained this to Amy, actually. Uh, where are we off? Rouge, Blaze, Shadow, and Sonic all passed through the library car. So, hold on. So, Sonic died there. Shadow is there. Shadow came through. Th so, this is the library car. Uh, so, we're here right now. So, also, everyone had to come through here to get there. Ah! To get to where they were going. Makes sense. Uh, where Amy told me and Espio to stay. I promptly picked off a book of the shelf and made myself comfortable. Fifty got barred, so we went to see what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. Yup! Where was Rouge? We happened to see her lipstick stain on a cup at the saloon car. Rouge came over to the library car, seemingly looking for something. Then she went to search the saloon car. She came back shortly after. We heard her shout, No way! At the end, uh, at, at the brochure of the stand over there. But then she went back to the casino car before Shadow came through and locked the door. I wonder what she found. She's obviously been on the hunt for something. After Rouge left, Shadow walked through the casino car. Then entered the library car and locked the door behind him. More importantly, why has Shadow been locking all the doors? Shadow walked through the library car to the saloon car, where Knuckles and I were playing games. He insisted on showing us Super Monkey Ball. I got so engrossed by the rolling monkey action, I hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. I guess he, I guess he walked through the library car to the casino car, again locking the door behind him. Then returned to the lounge car, where he was meant to be stationed. When Vector came back... Oh, when Vector came back... We realized Knuckles locked the door to the saloon car. We were stuck in the library car. That's when the train sped up. We were worried about the bookshelves falling on us, but we got through it all right. We sat trapped here until Amy arrived asking questions. She's the one that told us someone murdered Sonic. Uh, yeah, and that's all that happened. With all these locked doors, it seems Vesp uh, Vector and Espio couldn't have left the library car or the saloon car. Thank you both for your cooperation. We're just going to peek around here and we'll return if we get any questions. If you return with any mead, I'll chop it for you. And if you'd like to be serenaded with a poem, I've got you covered too. Bro, let's go. Slay my king. Thanks, guys. Their alibi seems solid enough, but we should still search for clues. We're looking for what evidence that proves they were staying is true. We need to confirm Vector's reasoning for leaving his post and determine if Espia was really in the library car. Reading. A tall task, but we can do it. Let's get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. All right, books. So many books on the ground. I wish I had time to pick them all up. I sadly have no interest in picking up these books. A lot of these were knocked out by the train speeding up, but Rouge brought a lot of these out too, searching for something. What reckless behavior. I feel sorry for the poor books. The spines are creasing. They've been open too far. This kid feels empathy for everything. Oh, brochures! That there are a lot of travel destination ideas here, like amusement parks, caverns, hotels, restaurants. Oh! Flute, look at this one. There's a couple of maps here. This seems to be a map of the library car. The books were categorized by genre, which are listed here. I love a good overhead map. Let's take it. Library map, add it to your inventory. We should take a look at this brochure about the cave, too. Uh, now nah, leave it. Okay. Okay, yeah, whatever. Nobody shares my fondness for caves. Uh, can we have a look? That is not helpful in the, <laughs> the slightest. Uh, Evident map shows layout of the library, tables included. Okay, there's SBO. We'll chat with him for a bit. Another bookshelf. Wow, look at all these books, but something needs me no time to rest. All right, let's move on then. Well, I mean, a little peek wouldn't hurt. He's scavenging through the book titles excitedly. He's like a kid in a candy shop. Yeah, that's odd. I know some of the books have fallen out on the floor or everything, but the books on these shelves are in alphabetical order. But this one. The Mirage Express Manual. The user's guide to the Mirror's Express Manual. The train we're currently on. Do you think someone found it on the ground and put it back? Maybe, but it's interesting. Let's make a note of this. Mirror's Express Manual, added your imagery. Alright, uh, anything I can attract over here? Professor Pickle! <laughs> uh, hand, how's it going? Oh, poor thing. The arm is really struggling to clean up this car. 
To be fair, I wouldn't want to clean up all this mess either. Let's just leave it alone to do its thing. Yeah, probably for the best. All right, uh, globe, the bin, another bin. <laughs> a globe of our marvelous planet. I haven't traveled around that much. The islands are all fun, but I'd like to visit some of the countries. They're a lot of fun, honestly. Plenty of wonderful people and shops. The food can't be beat either. Ah, sounds perfect for a vacation. The conductor was talking about Spagonia. If you've ever been there. I have, actually. If you're ever visiting, be, still, be sure to stop at the university and say hi to Professor Pickle. He'll tell you everything about the area. Make uh, Makes one scrumptious sandwich. A cucumber sandwich, I believe. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks. Let's give them everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bin! <laughs> Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. I hate to say, but there's nothing here. Ah, I really thought there'd be something there. Flute, are you sad there was nothing in the trash bin? No, I'm alright. <laughs> uh, sure, I'm sure there'll be something hidden in the next trash bin we'll find. You really think so? Uh, yeah, we just gotta stay optimistic. Yeah, uh, okay, these trash bins hide a secret, I'm sure of it. Flute, you're pretty unconventional, but I like that. Was that supposed to be a compliment? Uh, table. Ah, let's just take the f let's just take a pause and sit for a second. These chairs are very comfy, so plush. Puts me right in the mood to read. Makes me want to take a nap, personally. In fact, maybe I'll rest my eyes for a bit. Flute! No, don't fall asleep. Uh, there's been a murder, remember? I've had to ring by every time a murder ruined my nap time. Uh, hang in there. A chow hangs precariously from a tree branch. Uh, a large text below reads, hang in there. Wow, I really needed to see this. This little child's hanging there, refusing to, uh, refusing to use his wings to fly to safely. Uh, because choosing the hard way is often the most rewarding. That's beautiful. If this child can stick to his principles and find strength, then I can too. There's no way that most thought was put into this poster, right? Uh, anything else around here? We've done the books, we've done the chair, we've got the door. I think the door- oh! Boop! You must get an achievement for doing all of them, surely. Alright, we'll check the door and then we'll talk to the people. So I supposedly walked through the library car before going to the saloon car. When Shadow left the library door, he locked it on his way out. There's gotta be a reason for doing this. We should make a note of it. Yeah, I believe we should. Shadow's lock is added to the infantry. I think we've found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Vector and Espio and find out what really happened. Alright. Espio. Fancy a poem? Yeah, yeah, give me a poem about space. I've made it up with sp I've made it up to space with my beloved antique vase. But a mistake with my haste. Oh wait, this they wanted me to say Vars wrong. I made it up to space with my beloved antique vase. But a mistake in my haste. I dropped the vase from my embrace. So my antique I must now replace. What caused you to drop the the, the Vars? <laughs> Don't read too deeply. It's just a poem. He hasn't thought it through, has he? Uh, no, I want to hear your story about trains as well. Locomotive in motion. I think I've lost my lotion. The window shows the ocean. Oh wait, there's my lotion. Beautiful. <laughs> I actually really like that one. Huh? All right, uh, I'll take your order as well. I have a poem about this. My starved stomach babbled, though I ignored my grumbling tummy, for the eggs I received are scrambled when I asked for my eggs, Sonny. Oh wow, I, we don't serve eggs on the train though. My talent is wasted on you lot. Okay, yeah, no, I need to interrogate you. So, interrogation. So, the two of you don't believe us. Oh, so the two of you don't believe us, eh? It's not that I don't trust either of you, but I wouldn't be a proper detective without examining the valid validity of your alibis. Food and I are here to confirm a few things. Why Vector left to go play games with Knuckles, and if Espio really was reading in the library car, Vector, we'll start with you. Where did you leave the library car to visit Knuckles? We're prepared. Uh, we're prepared to present the evidence if need. Oh, that's easy. I got bored. Uh, uh, what? I wasn't entertaining him enough, it seems. Vector enjoys being social. Plus, we were instructed to mingle. I remembered the arcade machine was in the saloon car, so I figured I'll go check it out. It seems to line up with the information we gathered with Knuckles. Then, that brings to our attention you, Espio. Rouge enters the library car, found something, and then left. You said you, Im you, said you immediately st st started reading, but you were actually reading. But were you actually reading the entire time you were in the library car? Of course he was. Once Espio starts reading, he doesn't stop until it's done. I've seen it happen. It must be 
That must have been a good read. What was the book? Hmm. Espio doesn't owe you that, detective. Let the man live. What if... What if it was embarrassing? Well, like, some pornography magazine or something. What kind of things do you think I read? If you don't want to talk, I have a hunch what book it might be. Oh, the, the train. Oh, so he's, he did the train. He sped up the train. Okay. Fluke, could you help me out? All right, yeah, 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 no. He was reading the, the, the train manual. A manual? You think Espio was reading instructions? What argument could you possibly have to support this? The train sped up. Oh, we've got four, four lanes of rings now. Ow. Oh god, that one's about to disappear. Okay, well, I've really messed this up. Ah! Give that. Okay, we still got enough, though. There are books scattered around on the floor, for sure. But there are many books on the shelves that are all in alphabetical order. All except this manual, meaning someone at the very least picked the manual up and put it back in the incorrect place. This lack of attention to detail is an enormity like you, Espio. Hey now, I wouldn't have you insulting my pal like this. Calm down, Victor. I know you mean well, but I can handle myself. Apologies, Espio. A butcher and a poet friendship can form anywhere. This is indeed the book I was reading. The Mirage Express Manual. Trains are cool. In that case, we'd like to ask you a few questions about the manual. Flute, if you don't mind. Could you ask Espio a few questions about the manual? Just flip to a page and ask away. Oh, I see. Quiz Espio on the manual to prove you read it. Which page should I quiz him on? Page 362. Uh, okay, um, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to insist on keeping the train spotless? The robotic arms. During events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up the trash and mess afterwards. I remember the conductor saying the train could clean itself, though I have a feeling the train the company just didn't want to hire any janitors. The robotic arm could also detect weapons or explosives being bought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. It seems like SBO A's that question, Flute. Why don't you ask him another one? Okay, which page do I choose? 15! What is the Mirror Express cancellation policy? No refunds, and you will be charged a no-show fee. This does not apply if you're over the age of 65. Gee, the person who made this rule must, must have been over 65. That's one, Flute. Let's see if Espio can get three for three. Gotcha, which page shall I pick last? <gasps> 56. What was implemented to support the conductor duties and ease the general train obligations? An intelligent data processing system. It works in tandem with the conductor to assure smooth travel for the guests. I remember this. The train has an autopilot, but it can't access its full suite of capabilities without the conductor's present. Now, did I pass your little test? Yes, you did, actually. Good job, my guy. Totally. Yeah, you read it. A poet's brain is often surprising. You've clearly read all about the manuals. Those answers feel far too specific to be guesses. And you both had the nerve to question my buddy like that. Uh, don't we want to be supporting folks who read? Uh, I have to admit, though, reading this entire time, a murder occurred, does sound a little bit suspicious, even if true. But he answered all my questions so calmly that it's very impressive. No, no, I understand everyone's cautious attitudes. Vector was the only one to see me reading, after all. My alibi is hard to, uh, to, subs to substantiate, despite it being the truth. Well, you definitely read through the manual, so I suppose we could... Espio, is that true? Vector was the only one to see you reading? Yes, that's correct. Problem? Frankly, I don't believe that can be true. And we have evidence to back this up. Yeah, Shadow came through. Uh, Shadow's Lock. Shadow's Lock? Please pray, uh, please pray, tell. What does this have to do with anything? We're up, Flute. Let's get our argument together. God, these are getting trickier. <laughs> oh, God, I need 50 on this one as well. Eh. Eh. <laughs> God. Okay. Uh. Uh. 
Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's fine, we did it. Idea! Shadow walked right through the library car to get to the saloon car, where he set the original high score on the arcade machine. Yeah, but I ended up beating it. It wasn't a high score for long. Crocs must be natural gamers! Espio said he saw Shadow enter the library car, but he's mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentions that Vector came back. When Shadow left, Knuckles and Vector were in the saloon car. Espio was fully seated reading his book for a good while at this point. We know Shadow had to walk back through the library car when he came when he left the saloon car. So there's absolutely no way Shadow and Espio didn't notice. Uh, there's no way Sh Shadow and Espio didn't notice one other. Another. I can't even read. Whatever that says. Ah, uh, I mean, it was a simple slip up. I was just fully immersed in my book that I didn't notice Shadow. You're telling me the sounds of the door opening and locking wouldn't have caused you to look up? Well, you see... I can sense Espio's desperation here. Defending the argument that he was reading the entire time isn't easy. So, if you didn't see Shadow returning from the saloon car to lock all the doors, then at that moment you were really in the li- were you really in the library car at all? But how would Espio leave if Shadow locked all the doors and no one saw Espio in the saloon car? He can go invisible. Um, well, that would leave for Espio stuff. You, you gotta believe me. I was so involved with my book that I didn't notice Shadow pass back through the library car, honest. When Vector returned, he had me tap up on the shoulder to get my attention. Yeah, I think I remember doing that. God, my voice hurts so bad. I must avenge my friend's death, so I'll ask you again, Espio. Uh, if you weren't here, the, if, if you weren't there for Shadow to see you reading, then how did you leave the library car? I wasn't. It, it didn't. Why does this seem to, why does, this doesn't seem right to me, Tails. Tails uh, definitely seems to have done something, but I don't see it. Was Espio really sitting here reading, or so he somehow vanish? Yeah, no, yeah, he can go invisible. Uh, no, join Tails. Fuck Espio. No, I can't interrupt Tails when he's on to something. I'll let him continue this line of questioning, and... Flute, my favourite and beloved employee, please, protect the passengers aboard this train. They must be taken care of. If you fail, the losses could be torturous. Don't allow such an old, feeble soul to get sued. <laughs> I have to make sure all the guests are taken care of. I have to speak up. Tails! We have a piece of evidence that can answer all of our problems. All right, my fellow associate, lay it on me. What piece of evidence shows Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another? Uh, I guess this, he could be behind a shelf or something. All right, now let's get my thoughts in order. Woo! Okay, the concentration levels are currently off the charts. Ugh! No. Oh my god. We did it. Let's go. The library map. Oh, I see. See the exits. They're right across from one another in a straight patch. A shadow walked down the straight path. There's a way Espio and Shadow couldn't have seen one another. Looks like you'll have to point out where exactly in the map you mean. Okay, uh, there. You could have been there. Interesting. That is where I was sitting reading my book. I can second this. When I returned from the saloon car, Espio was in the same spot. That confirms it then. See, Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another from this spot because the bookcase is in the way. There's no way Shadow could have seen Espio, or vice versa. That makes a lot of sense. Why you never mentioned Shadow's return, Espio? There's just no way you could have seen him. I apologize for losing my cool back there. It felt like I was grasping despite telling the truth. But I'm glad you all believe me now. Your alibi is the mo is most, isn't the most airtight. I can't read, I can't read. Your alibi is the most airtight, but I have no further points. Thank you both for answering all of our questions. We did it. Another pair of alibis validated. Dun, 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 dun. It's gonna be locked doors to worry about, but I'm glad everything's written out by the end. 
Well, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna crash here for a bit. These chairs are so comfy. Likewise, I could use a breather. Sadly, our work isn't done. But I still have plenty of questions for Rouge, and especially Shadow. Oh, it seems the door to the next car is open. Amy must have kept her open when she passed through earlier. Then, that's our cue to leave. See you later, Vesp uh, Vector and Espio. Give him heck! If you need any meat chopped up, say the word! I'll keep my poetry sharp for you both. A murder is on the loose, while doors keep getting locked. Tick, tick, tock goes the clock, while our heroes are in the caboose. At this point, I'm feeling pretty confident in our detective abilities. We are really doing this. Come on, Flute, let's see what's next. Coming! Alright, let's go. Sure you don't want to stay and look at all the great books a little longer? No. The mystery calls. Okay, the investigation continues. Oh! Mmm! Casino car. Oh! All this stuff is getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Rouge, there you are. We have a lot of questions to say to you. We, uh, we've visited every train so far, and everyone said they've been uh, wondering about you. It's high time you told us why. My, my. Talk about a warm welcome. Quick to the point on you, darling. And I see you've brought a little microwave mess with you. All right, Rouge, all right, I'm breaking up with you. <laughs> Please don't let that be my legacy. Tails is right. Folks have brought you up a lot. Care to explain? Um, tell him, Rouge. We're going to need the help. Blaze? All right. I've been hunting for a treasure rumored to be stored on the train. Your treasure? They certainly didn't tell me about the treasure in the interview. Since I'm part business tycoon, uh, part pur purveyor of fine collectibles, I knew I had to find it. Tell him what it is, Rouge. All right. Well, it's a... I don't know how to say that. Fa Fabergé Chowick. Wow, that does sound extravagant. But please tell me you accepted uh, Amy's birthday invite. Please tell me you didn't just accept Amy's invite just to find that egg. A woman can have multiple girls. I gave Amy her birthday present already. Everything's so well taken care of. She wrote me in on the hunt immediately. I stayed here while she searched for the train's car for clues. I deduced that the uh, fa Fabergé chow egg is here, in the train's car. I locked it in safe. Wait, so the treasure's real? It's actually here? And what did you manage to find, Rouge? Oh, well, why don't you both take a look? Uh, I found the train's blueprint on the library car, with the safe code written on it. The score of a lifetime. The train's blueprint. Please, Rouge, let us know that. Uh, 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 finders keepers, sweetheart. Where did her left eye go? There's a problem. We need your assistance. What kind of problem? The elevator behind the security guard. The elevator behind the security guard leads us right to the room hiding the Fabergé chow egg. But we're not getting anywhere without the guard's access codes. We need a plan to get the. Uh, we need a plan to get the code to access the elevator. And chance or access grows with everyone's help. So you want us to help you steal the f uh, Fabergé egg? Chow egg? Blaze, you don't have a problem with this? I see no issues here. Sounds like a fine business adventure. Ah, her law card must be influencing her decisions here. Either that or breaking the rules must be refreshing for a princess. Uh, Flute, do you have any opinions on this? No, it doesn't have any effect on a, a prince though, you know, especially ones which like kids. Uh, sitting in the squares, it's time for a five finger discount. Well, I suppose Blaze and Flute are in it. Okay, let's get that for every Chow egg. <laughs> That's a ticket. Happy to have you both on the team. Now, we must plan. Oh! Oh, this music. Oh boy, what have I got myself into? To access Fabergé Chowick room is hidden behind the lock in the elevator door. Security guard access. The security guard has the access codes. Do we? A. Attack the, attack the guard. Bribe the guard or distract the guard. We distract the guard. Distract them. Perfect. We're charming enough for that to work. That was actually a really nice thing today. <laughs> Flute, is everything okay? I've never seen you smile like that. Or my girlfriend just complimented me. Uh, seems they don't know how to take a compliment. If I'm gonna be in a casino, my poker face needs to work. Okay, who's distracting the security guard? Bro Rouge, you're hot. Of course, I'll distract them. Who could resist my feminine charms? 
You mean big tits? I'm not sure how effective your charms will be on a chow. Oh, it's a chow. Aren't chows like children? Okay, maybe I shouldn't be talking about boobs. Um, plus, your flight might prove useful. I'm not sure being a distraction makes sense. Oh, well, fair enough. Let's think over again. Well, Tails is not a good distraction. Although Blaze has fight. Although Tails can fly as well. We'll say Blaze can do it. Do you the card, Blaze? In my life, I've never let a single person down. I won't falter. G great. Well, I trust her. Moving on. What's the distraction? Uh, pretend the claw machine is stuck. Push a bunch of poker chips on the floor. Ask the chow about their partner and kids. Yeah, do that one. Excellent. People love talking about themselves. This will easily distract the guard. Perfect. I think we can move on then. With the guard distracted, uh, Rouge, how will you get access to the card? Uh, pick that pocket. I'll snatch your access card, no problem. That chow in uniform won't notice a thing. Excellent! We can count on you, Rouge! Try not to take anything else from them if you can help it. No promises! Uh, with the card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of there. Flute, what's your plan? Uh, Pretend you're Blaze's spouse. Yeah, let's go. Then you'd be marrying into the royal family. What's your heritage? Any war crimes I should know about? <laughs> well, well, um... You dress far too plain. Uh, you would need to... You would need a complete refashioning immediately. You know what? Maybe we should try something else. Interesting. You give up far too easily as well. We'd have worked on your fortitude. I said we'll try something else. With the card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of there. Flute, what's your plan? Uh, push the security guard over. I don't know if I say, shut up. It's just a little push. That child's low to the ground. It wouldn't hurt them. That's what I'm saying. Ow. But if they start crying, it could bring unwanted attention to us. All right. Decent point. Let's think of something else. All right. Is a drink without a coaster. Absolutely vile. I can think of nothing worse. Despicable. I would never allow such a thing in my kingdom. Uh, the guard will go running immediately. I'm sure of it. Great, and with the guard distracted, we'll head to the elevator. And just like that, we'll make, the, we'll make it to the elevator. We'll make it... We'll all make it into the elevator. Inside, we... Uh, pop some apple cider. Now that's a proper victory. Oh no. One last security uh, measure we didn't count for. Why do we do it about the mechanical arms attacking from the ceiling? Uh, half tails disable them. I should be able to disengage them. Uh, I just need some time. But that leads us nicely to our next question. While Tails is taking out the arms, uh, what? Oh no, Tails is taking a while to take out the arms. Uh, tightening their grip. Uh, cry and hope they sympathize. Uh, uh, pretend there's nothing wrong. Cry, cry and hope they sympathize. Tails might should do it. Darling, I'm happy to say our plan is perfect. If everyone's ready, it's time to execute. I'm ready, let's begin. All right, let's see what's up that elevator. Let's let's do this. Oh, I, I don't know. It, like if I just said no, this entire thing we just don't do it. I knew the plan would go off without a hitch. We could have just made it. We could have made it this far without you both. Oh, we could have made it this far without you both. Could have my gratitude. Our planning beforehand was very thorough, I must admit. And it's time. Uh, and it was executed. For, for, I can't even read. I've lost the ability to read. Enough chatter. Now we reclaim our real prize. I have the safe code right here in our blueprints. Let's reclaim our Frebacy Chow Egg, hee hee. I better not have had to remember what it was. Oh, okay, safe. No question, this has got to be the safe of the treasure. Enter the code. Uh, enter the code on the book, let's find out, Rouge. On it, sweetheart. Okay, let's see. 230401. <gasps> wow! It's in here! <laughs> I have it! Alright, let's get it before anyone sees us and get out of here. Hold on, kiddo, we can't be hasty. You truly think this is all that... You truly think... All there is is this egg? No further secrets whatsoever? Roosh, spit it out. What are you hiding? Only three of these eggs were ever made. Each hiding their own uh, individual secret. No one knows the secret because anyone who's opened one of them has never lived to tell the tale. You can open the egg? Sure you can. And, uh, and all of you will bear witness to a secret. Roosh, I don't know if you should. All you need to do is twist it. Tick, 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 tick. Huh? 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 Uh oh. Rouge, uh, has no one lived to tell the egg secret? Because the egg is a bomb? 
I think you're onto something, kid. It sure sounds like a bomb. We need to dispose of that egg now. Dispose of it? After all our hard work? Rouge. Fine, fine. But what do we do? Where do I put this thing? That's an excellent question. What do we do with the bomb? Ah, too many things. Okay, twist the egg again. Eat, eat the egg. Eat the egg. <laughs> Not with any outsole. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, 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 um, let Tails cool it down with his tails. Uh, tell the egg to stop. Uh, let it finish ticking see what happens. Are you insane? Do you want it to blow up? We need to dispose of the bomb. Yeah, sorry. Uh, 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 wait, that's all right. Uh, Flute, I think you're on something. Yeah, what if it's a trick? Smart right, kid, we don't have any time. Sorry, it's just SPO said something interesting when we quiz him about the manual. Uh, okay, um, what's the vision? Oh, the, the, the robotic arms during events perform a variety of tasks responsible for cleaning up the trash. And oh, yeah, yeah, so it's not even a thing! Those robotic arms in the train. Uh, those robotic arms that attacked us in the elevator seem to have a lot of functions on the train. If a bomb was brought on the train disguised as the Chowick, the detecting it wouldn't have been allowed on. The only other person who knows, uh, the only other person who knows the coming and going of the train is the conductor, and surely he wouldn't allow such a thing on either. So if we're out of options, I think we should wait and see what happens. Okay, we wait. Okay. The egg! It opened! It's hollow, not a bomb at all! You both are really on to something. Phew! My, my! Well, that's one way to get the heart racing! I'm completely relieved. Got my heart right back, Eddie. Eee! And look what's inside! Wow, look at that sparkle! And it's so heavy, too! The final secret to the Fabrice Chow egg. A chow covered in gems! It's perfect! It's exquisite! It's revolutionary! Is she drooling over a sparkly ornament? Yeah, she is, because she's she's the goat. I submit it, it's stunning. You said no one lived to set secrets. I wonder why. Uh, because they weren't as tough as us. I don't know. Who cares? What a precious treasure. A beauty to behold. Maybe they just naturally died of old age, kept secret with them. Uh, as much as fun as it's been, we should get out of here before we're spotted. Good call. Let's go. Alright, no one's who's searching the thing, she goes back at that post. I feel so Thank you, both of you, your citizens. The hell was extremely th uh, thrilling. Stealing was strangely fun, but uh, I'd prefer never to do it again. Now, Rouge! Uh, she's completely absorbed by the child. W what? What is it, darling? About those blueprints. Now that you're done with them, maybe we could take a look. While I appreciate your assistance, as I said, it's finders keepers. I need them a little longer in case I miss one of the, any other treasures, but uh, I promise to let you take a peek later. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but uh, I'm sure you'll get it, sweetheart. Just as sweetheart at the end of sentence to make things sound better, but I don't think there's any reasoning with her. She's more powerful than me. Well, 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 we'll get out of your way from uh, now then. We have a murder mystery to attend to. Before you go, Shadow gave me and Rouge one of these as he passed earlier. Let me unlock the door so you can continue forwards. You know, we've had a lot of people mention you, Rouge, but we've also had just a amount of suspicion about Shadow. He's unpredictable, that one. Good luck to you. The, the door is unlocked. Both of you stay safe. Thanks again. Will do. Come on, Flute. Let's head out. Gotcha. All right. Um, is there anything else for me to do in here? Yeah, let's play the slots. Oh, I lost. Yeah, no, play again. Let's waste all our money. Uh, one more time, one more time. Uh, okay, one more time, one more time. Oh, big money, I'll get it this time! Okay, I lost. Maybe, okay, this time, this time. Ah, uh, now I'm poor. Alright, before I go, I want to chat to my girlfriend one last time. Thank you for your help, Ryan. What can I offer you, darling? Are you hungry? Uh, what about your menu? Uh, not a lot of options, sweetie. But I think I have to pass. Not a problem, just let me know if you need something later. Sure, if you need a bag of chips, I'll holler. Alright, and last thing, I want to... Oh, I've clicked the wrong thing again. Uh, is this just talking to this again? Once a player is fed up... I'm ready to go... Okay, I was going to go back. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So, what this is, I think, is irrelevant. So, yeah, I think she was just looking at that the whole time and couldn't actually do anything. 
Right. Don't get me into the little casinos. I've never seen one actually sat down and played for fun. Want to play blackjack? I don't know how to play that. You are ass tails. See me, let me show you. God, you're such a bitch. All right. Uh, Blaze, can I take your order? Uh, you can turn the whole, maybe the eggs are born to destroy your appetite. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, yeah. Very um, animated person. Wow. All right. Ready to get going? Let's find Shadow. However, we will not find Shadow now because unless something exciting happens, I'm going to end this part here and we'll finish it next time. Ooh, the smooth jazz. Oh, this is as good as I need to clean up my pockets. I know you won't talk. Uh, I know you won't talk, but I know exactly what you've been. Why you've been locking the doors? It's hard to get a word in as you talk over me. I have my reasons. I the reason is convincing enough. It's uh, inconceivable what you did. Hey, what's going on? <clears throat> I see you've made it here, Tails. But I didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. Well. See what I said about microwave cheap dogs delicious. Uh, I'd also like to know why you've been locking the doors throughout the train shadow. Well, it seems Amy already knows, so ask her. Hmph. <laughs> I'm not saying a thing. You will have to tell me why. You'll have to. Uh, if you could leave me, if you could leave me be, I have an appointment coming up. An appointment? Who wants to meet with him? Well, flute. It seems like Shadow isn't going to talk. Let's do some investigating. All right, ready to find some answers, tales. Undoubtedly, my dear flute. All right, next time we will do some investigating into Shadow. That's the end of this part. Farewell.